So don't worry about that. What is really important is the motivation. So you decided you want to start a career in DevOps and uh, you don't really know where to start. In this video, I'm going to explain how I moved from uh, application development to uh, DevOps engineering and what has been my journey and what are my tips to do this today. So I started my career a few years ago and uh, my first job was uh, working as a software engineer coding application. So um, after a few years in uh, that role, I realized that there was a bit more than uh, writing applications. So my applications uh, was also moving from uh, my laptop and going to a server. And I got interested in what was in between my machine and the server. And that's why I started my journey towards DevOps. So this is the single thing you need to learn that is composed of many technologies and many other things. So if you feel that DevOps is too big, just break it down, you are going to learn one thing. What is the software development lifecycle and how you move your application from your machine to production? So understanding the roles and responsibility of, um, I, I, I don't like saying DevOps engineer, but it's like more a platform team with um, that works in the DevOps space. So if you want to be part of the platform team and operate in this space, uh, you need to understand some important concepts. So these concepts are not related necessarily to specific tools. So the first thing that comes to mind is continuous integration, so CI. You need to do CI as a, at the end of your application when you finish writing a feature and you push that code to your uh, repository, um, something needs to validate that the application works. So you need to run tests and you need to make sure the application is still compatible with the rest of your ecosystem. So you may have API gateways, you may have many, many components. I don't want to scare you with names here, but you may have other components that are dependencies or your application is a dependency for other component and you need to make sure everything still works. So what you need to do is make sure that all the steps that move from uh, the developer machine to the production server are automated. So try to automate that, try to make that reliable and secure is your main activity. Also, making sure that the application is up and running and doesn't go down and is serving customers is also one of the responsibilities. So now, as you can see, there is a quite a broad spectrum of activities that you may need to understand, but understanding them doesn't mean knowing absolutely everything. So one important aspect of working in this space is that you are never done. So you are never done learning. You will constantly add new tools to your belt. And that's how you become a senior engineer in this space. So once you understand this, you simply know that you have to start from somewhere. And uh, there is also another aspect. You may be really knowledgeable in one company and start in another company where you don't know all the tools that they're using. If you have strong foundations, if you if you understand the concept and if you understand what are the principles that you need to follow, that's not a problem because every tool can be learned. It's just a matter of time, but everyone knows this. So no one is going to expect you to know everything in a stack that is uh, uh, different from uh, company to company. So, so don't worry about that. What is really important is the motivation. If you like this type of activities, learning is not going to be a pain for you. It's just going to be uh, you're going to enjoy the process because you know that today you don't know something, tomorrow you're going to know that thing. So you constantly have to push yourself out of the comfort zone. So if this is what you're looking for, then you made the right decision to start a career in the DevOps space. If not, just think again because the amount of stuff you have to do is not just once, but is every day. Every day of your life, you're going to build your skills and you're going to continue and some tools one day will be outdated. So you're going to lose knowledge as well because it's not valid anymore. So on my channel, I also have other videos about DevOps and uh, platform engineering. So make sure you watch them to have a better understanding. If you have questions, ask down below in the comments and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.